What's going on, people? It's your boy, Eric. I deeply, deeply apologize for missing last week's video. Um, life and work kind of got a hold of me, and I was running around like crazy and really didn't have a time to um, make a video, edit it, and put it together for you guys. So I deeply apologize. That's on my bad. Um, hope you guys can understand. Uh, this week's topic is trans men dating trans women. And just to start off, I completely agree with Coley on this subject. I feel like it should be um, extended a lot more than just trans men and dating trans women because we're still looking at it like a hetero, um, just a basic hetero relationship. And sometimes that's not. I, have, I personally have friends that <clears throat> have dated trans women and trans guys. So there's different lifestyles uh, that we have to acknowledge and respect in that aspect. Um, we have to understand, just like we want everybody else to understand, that gender doesn't necessarily define sexuality. You can be whatever you want and identify however you want. It doesn't go hand in hand just like that. Um, <clears throat> stating that, I don't feel like there should be a real big difference in it. Um, I myself are I'm in a committed relationship with a cisgender woman, um, one who I actually plan on marrying. So I can't really say that I would ever date a trans woman because to me, I would never really date any woman ever again um, after finding my girlfriend. So I don't have too much to actually say on this topic. I feel like to each his own. If you're comfortable, if you're happy, then it really does not matter. It should not matter whatsoever. And I know everybody has a huge curiosity of, well, if they date, then what happens in the bedroom? I feel like that is no one's business. No one. I understand there's a curiosity behind it, but at the end of the day, it's not. You wouldn't walk up to anybody else and ask them what they do in their bedroom. You know what I mean? That's just, that's a line that I feel like nobody should really cross. I understand that curiosity is out there, understandable, but you should respect that. Just like you wouldn't want anybody coming up to you, ask you what you and your partner does in the bedroom. You know what I mean? So, I, I really don't have too, too much to actually talk about on this subject. Um, it doesn't really matter to me teach his own um so sorry that i have like such a short video but definitely stay tuned till next week check out all the other guys we have a very very important um video topic next week that we'll be sharing with you guys so please stay tuned to watch that <clears throat> since this video might be a little short actually might actually go into last week's topic since I didn't get a chance to actually make that. So if you guys don't mind watching a little bit longer, then. So last week's topic was um, relationships and friendships. You know, what do we look for in a friendship? What do we look for in a relationship? Um, I've been with my girlfriend now for the end of this month, the 30th, will actually make two years, which is awesome. Um, going into this relationship, I came out of a lot of really negative, bad relationships with my exes. I was putting myself into situations that weren't healthy for me, for one, and I couldn't recognize it until it was too late. Um, after my last relationship, um, I really sat down and took a year just to chill by myself dated around a little bit but not like anything serious I didn't want a serious relationship for at least a year just so I could get comfortable with myself and being alone and taking her take care of my priorities first and myself first um, so when I met my girl actually I got introduced to my girlfriend by my best friend we were just friends at the time that's all I was looking for but as soon as I met her she there was something about her that clicked that like I was like this is the kind of girl that I want and I told my best friend that I think this is the kind of girl I want I, 
uh, independent, strong, um, <clears throat> educated, career-driven um, goofball just like myself. Basically, at the end of the day, me and my goof and my girl goof around all the time, which is awesome. But she could be serious and she could be on her grind, which I respect to the fullest. Um, going into this relationship too, I I, I kind of had standards before going into this relationship, so I like gave myself like a checklist. Having standard is not bad. It doesn't make you necessarily shallow. Um, it makes you know your worth and know what you're worth in a relationship. So going into this relationship, I said, and I'm sorry to say this, girls with no kids. A lot of my past relationship had kids. Doesn't work out that well. Um, it's always drama attached, no matter what the situation is. Always drama. Um, no more girl had to have a job, had to have a career, had to have something going for her independent for one no living at home like you gotta have your own place i understand that i was living at home but i was living at home for different reasons i was going to school i was helping my, my family out at the time and it's not like i lived there my whole life. i actually moved back with them to help them out um and to help myself out so saying that going into this relationship was awesome um we've been together for almost two years now we have great communication like absolutely great communication no fights because we communicate that well um also trust we trust each other a lot sorry lost track of my thought for a moment <laughs> um we have really really good trust with each other uh, i can tell her anything she can tell me anything we know that we're not going to react we're going to think about the situation figure out what we can do everything else so there's no there's no secrets between us at all. Um, our families get along really well too, which is awesome. Um, a friendship, I have like at least three or four best friends. I don't feel like every, anybody should be subject to one. Um, so I have at least three or four best friends. My best friends go from anywhere from somebody I've met maybe four years ago down to somebody I've known my whole life, me and we're raised together, and we don't see each other that often, but it clicks as soon as we do, which is really awesome, because I have really work, busy work schedule, so I don't get to hang out with my friends that much, but I feel like they, I understand that a lot, for the most part, that when I, I'm busy, I'm busy, when I have time, I have time. I try to make time, but my family, my girlfriend, and myself come first before anybody else. Um, <clears throat> my best, well two of my best friends that live here that I'm actually really close with are awesome, amazing, I trust them, they've had my back, they've helped me out, I've had to help them out, that's how I feel like our friendship should really go, you don't necessarily have to see each other all the time, but there has to be that understanding, um, also, I say loyalty, but to an extent, like someone could be loyal to you, but if you feel like they're not loyal, it might not be that type of situation, you know what I mean, um, I'm friends with friend, with people that my friends don't necessarily like sometimes, but I don't feel like you should judge a new person that you're trying to be friends off of uh, with off of something that obviously that another person has a problem with them. If that makes any kind of sense, if that does. <laughs> um, but I've met like tons of trans guys over social media. I've gotten great great friendships with them. I'm actually gonna meet my boy Giovanni. Actually, the Philly Trans Conference was just awesome. I can't wait to meet him because it's a long time coming. I've, I've built some really good um, relationships and friendships over social media, believe it or not. It is possible, you know, especially when we all support each other. Um, things that I do not, do not like in a friend, if you lie, I can't do liars, can I? You should be able to trust me with whatever, and if you don't trust me enough, then don't tell me. Plain and simple, don't lie about the situation. That that will break a friendship up real quick. Um, maturity. I'm 31 years old. I am a big kid, but at the same time, I know how to conduct myself on a mature level. Um, <clears throat> what else? No drama. You got a record. I know people got records, but. I've had my past. I'm not trying to be associated with that. That's why mostly I'm 
at work or at home body. I don't go out, I don't stay in the streets, I don't do none of that. Um, I feel like people should have goals. Also, if you're my friend, I am brutally honest, <laughs> very honest sometimes. Not in a bad way, I don't mean to be a jerk, but if you ask my opinion about something, I will completely give it to you, whether you want to hear it or not, because I feel like as a friend, you should be able to be open. Um, there's a way to support friends without not liking everything that they do. I think I've talked about it in a previous video. Um, <clears throat> and support, also, kind of friendship and relationship kind of go hand in hand. I feel like if you're in a relationship with somebody, they should respect and kind of get, want to get to know your friends, because those are people that are, are around you. Those are people that you sometimes depend on. Um, so I feel like a relationship or a friendship, <clears throat> your relationship and your friendships should kind of go in hand in hand. If they're mashing, there's some, there, there's a reason for that. And I feel like it's definitely necessary to take a look at uh, your partner is clashing with your friends and they're not necessarily liking this person 100%, maybe you need to take a step back and see why. Maybe you need to ask your partner what's what is it about your friends that um, that they don't like or that they're not getting along with, vice versa. You should ask your friends what's going on with your partner that they're seeing that they don't like. Um, sometimes we get in a relationship, we get blinded by a lot of things and your friends can be very helpful and very honest. You don't necessarily have to take their advice either. You can take it with a grain of salt, but in the back of your head, a science clicking and they might be right. So. I once again need to get ready for work. Story of my life. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about last week's video. Like I said, try to smush two videos together. Um, check out the other guys next week for sure. Stay tuned next week on this channel. All right. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.